Back in the 80s, a lot of guitar players were using dive bomb effects. The most common being the uh, B note on the fourth fret of the third string. It's a harmonic. Well, I, I realized there's also a B note on the fifth fret of the second string and on the seventh fret of the first string. They're all the same note. And then I noticed that the, the first string note, when I depress the whammy bar, it only goes down about a whole step. The second string note goes down about a major third. The third string note goes down about a, a minor sixth or so. So when you hit all three of them, you get this slightly detuning effect as the notes separate and get further and further apart. Something like this. Now you'll probably go out of tune, but... It's a really cool sound. Now, here's how you do it. Basically, you're gonna wanna have a lot of distortion on, maybe a little compression. I've got some reverb on there too. And um, you're gonna wanna go to your bridge pickup. That's gonna be the pickup. It's easy, you can get harmonics at the 12th fret with your neck pickup, but it gets more and more difficult as you go up the fretboard towards the, towards the nut. You really wanna use the bridge pickup. Having humbuckers doesn't hurt either, but you can do it with single coil pickups. And then the way you make a harmonic is just to lightly touch your finger on the string, but don't push it down, don't push the string down to the fret or to the fret board. You just touch the string. You can practice at the 12th fret. It's a little easier at the 12th fret. And then practice at the 7th fret. And then at the 5th fret. And then at the 4th fret. And you get all different notes there. But if you play the 4th fret of the 3rd string and the 5th fret of the 2nd string, and the seventh fret of the first string, those are all the same note, those are all Bs. <laughs> and when you depress the whammy bar, they all just start to do their thing and go down at different rates. And at first they're just like getting slightly out of tune and fluttering. Um, if you've got a drummer in the room and he's got his snares engaged, uh, you'll probably hear his snare drum rattling in, in time with your detuning. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tip, that little quick, quick little effect, and I use it, actually, I still use it to this day. Anyway, God bless, thank you so much for watching, and have fun, bye.